Welcome to curl 8.1.2 on May 30, 2023. It's another patch release. We had another we had the previous patch release last week and now we are here again for yet another patch release. I am Daniel Stenberg as you might know I am the lead developer of the curl project. I work for Wolf SSL. This is my website if you want to figure out any details about what I do. So some numbers, a little bit, um, no security stuff or changes this time because it's a patch release, but I'm going to highlight a bunch of bug fixes that we've done for this release. Reiterate some removal that is coming and we have some stuff coming up next, well, potentially coming up next and I'm going to just highlight some of them, uh, those potentials. So this is my, our, Two, it's actually my 219th time I make this and might get curl release, but it's also our curl release, right? Because it's not my releases, but I've done them all so far. So we're getting uh, the numbers up. Uh, this time, we uh, so it's a smaller patch release this time. Only 13 contributors, three new, and we had uh, five authors, two new, adding code and commits into this um, release. And of course, this is seven days since the previous release, the 811 release last week, and we're now at 9,202 days since we started this journey. So, yep, in this release, uh, we don't have any new stuff. It's a bug fix release. We have 14 bug fixes according to the change, change log, and um, some of them minor, like I updated wording and stuff in the man page. That's sort of, yeah. But I have a few uh, few things, uh, bug fixes. I think there are six of them I chose to highlight for you. So let me go through them with you. Um, so there's um, this. I... <laughs> I introduced this concept called run compiler, which is a script that the, the configure script, the configure script generates a script uh, at runtime. And it uses this script to run the compiler for some a subset of the tests that the configure script needs to do. And of course I broke that little thing in 8.1.1 because I'm silly and stupid. And uh, now we fixed it. So now it should run better. This uh, <clears throat> this was one regression that caused a bunch of people uh, to experience problems when they ran configure, especially if you had the CC variable set to something more than just a single command, like uh, a command line with an option or, or whatever, and then it would just completely fail. Uh, this should be better. <clears throat> I also fixed another thing in configure is basically how configure finds the nghtp2 library if you don't have this package config or and you have it installed in a default path you could actually end up it detecting the library being there but in the end not using the correct option to link with it so you would end up with a link error when you build curl a silly error and it was pretty easy to fix sort of manually if you ended up in that situation but still, it should work a little bit better now. We also fixed this um, libcurl.m4 file, which is which is a, a, a configure macro helper file that we provide uh, for the purpose of other projects to use to detect libcurl using configure, right? So that's we don't use that ourselves. We ship it or provide it as a sort of a good script for someone who writes configure scripts in other projects that are using libcurl to detect libcurl. And we fixed, bug fixed it a little bit. There was this trailing DNL and the DNL in M4 is a comment uh, prefix. Mm. So we fixed that. So it's a little bit better than before. And um, uh, <coughs> also we, the, the that run compiler thing was one regression that caused, that really triggered me to do this follow-up patch release. This was the second trigger that triggered this follow-up release. The HTTP2 end of 
end of file or end of stream handling on uploads with auth negotiation. Um, so we, the H2 protocol handler didn't properly handle the situation where we do one request to get the authentication doing, um, going and, and a follow-up request to continue it. Like for example, uh, to be specific, when we use, for example, digest uh, authentication with HTTP, we and we want to do a post. We send the first post without any content, just to get the negotiation, the uh, authentication going, to send some data, and then we do another request with the actual content there. So it was just a silly mistake, but uh, it broke, and I think it particularly was noticed by Git users and a few others. So it's um, it was a bit annoying and completely unnecessary a regression. We fixed that. We fixed an H3 bug, or actually it wasn't really a bug. This is more of a um, thing. H3, of course, being experimental still, so you wouldn't have this enabled un unless you enable it by default or by yourself, right, in the build. So it, we could end up in a situation where we would send here also in a post request over HTTP3, you could end up in a situation where we would send data and then end up sending a zero length data packet after that before we send the end of stream signal. And some receivers didn't really like that extra zero length data frame after the actual data. <laughs> um, and it was completely unnecessary, so so we could just you know fix the counting and avoid that extra zero data frame because all the data was already sent. Should be better now. Um, and finally, my last bug fix I wanted to mention for this patch release is that when you used you when you used an SSH protocol with curl built with a lib SSH. So curl has different SSH backends, right? So you can build curl with different SSH libraries, uh, lib SSH being one of the three options you have. So if you build curl with lib SSH and the server accepts a bunch of different authentications, including keyboard interactive and password. And when curl then would try first keyboard interactive and that would fail it should continue on to try the password authentication method because that's just the way it's designed right but because of a, a annoying bug if you would have if you would allow both keyboard interactive and password but the keyboard interactive would fail it wrongly didn't continue on and try the password one it would sort of skip that one uh, by mistake uh, only for this particular SSH backend uh, and yeah now it should work better for SCP and SFTP transfers of course both being done over the SSH transfer thing <clears throat> so that those were the bug fixes to the the, the significant ones read up the ch in, uh, in the changelog if you want to get all the details about all the changes and we have some removals coming up we hope and intend plan maybe remove support for nss and uh, possibly gs kit in august we will remove support for building with legacy ming w version one in september and we will remove other stuff in july the july 2024 stuff of course we can think about more in the future we are still considering uh, the next or thinking planning the next release to be curl version 8.2.0 as we've done <laughs> the last few releases but we're still planning on this and we're sticking to the date and everything so we'll see then if we can actually manage to merge all or any of these possibly coming pull requests the ipfs support pr I'm not sure. I haven't seen any traffic on that recently, so we'll see. There's a, a PR possibly also a bit uh, fading away for direct listing, so we file colon slash slash. CA native and proxy CA native options are most possibly probably coming. We are going to see support for parallel tests very soon. Uh, I hear some very positive uh, news and developments there, so 
ideally in the next release we will be able to at least manually enable parallel tests to drastically re uh, reduce test times on, on modern machines. We have this PR coming for setting the HA proxy client IP address. I'm pretty sure this will be merged because it looks pretty ready and, and uh, mature and good enough to merge as soon as we open the feature window. And there is this PR for the support for Gemini, the protocol that is not ready for merge, but I'm thinking that maybe it will get some more attention and if you're interested in this, join in and help the people because it's uh, quite a significant step to in, uh, insert support for a new protocol like this. And um, it needs a lot of tests, documentation and polish before we can merge it. <clears throat> so that's the potential future, potential stuff for the next version. Again, 8.2.0 still planned to happen on July 19. Um, which of course then means that we've also postponed the opening of the feature window so it'll happen on this coming Saturday which happens then to be uh, June 3 and of course the I mean the the reality of that is that we have one week less of a feature window than we had from the plan for from the beginning so we have only have two weeks open um, with a feature window open, which probably is going to mean that we get a reduced set of features or changes merged in this release cycle, which I think might be a good thing anyway, since we had these patch releases. So maybe it'll be a good thing to just maybe do more patch fixes and bug fixes during this release cycle. Anyway, if you go to this URL on the, on the slide here, uh, dev slash release notes dot HTML, you will see the always updated automatic pending release notes for the coming release if you're interested in what we have merged for for the coming release and if you're working if you have curl in your product tool service and you need commercial support contact me and us we sell support at wolf SSL and we have commercial support sort of in a in a several different tiers we have the one for you as well if you have found suspect detected bugs issues flaws problems submit them on github uh, as an issue and we will get to them if you have found suspect uh, security problems submit it on hackerone.com slash curl and um, just because we have gotten a lot of maybe not stellar reports over there recently you could take a brief moment to check on this page exactly what is included and what is not included in the bug bounty problem program that we have there and maybe if not included maybe not um, insist that we should treat it as a bug bounty issue here's the set of awesome sponsors for the curl project in may 2023 it is thanks to these great companies and um, friends that curl can remain as it is so this is curl 8.1.2 for may 30 2023 uh, short and sweet see you in another curl release